following segment is paid for by Nevada Eye Physicians. As your child kicks off their school year, don't forget to take care of one of their most important learning tools, their eyes. Eye exams are very important at every age, and if left unchecked, they could lead to undiagnosed vision problems that can affect your child's development, school performance, self-esteem, social interactions, the whole gamut. So joining us to talk more about this this morning is Dr. Naomi Warner. Welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Oh my gosh, eye exams is so important this, this time of year, and I think parents sometimes you know, don't diagnose a problem right away or even think that their child might have eye issues. Right, right. A lot of times, you know, you don't realize that your kid's struggling because they might be squinting or they're rubbing their eyes or blinking excessively. And so mm -hmm. those are warning signs that they might not be seeing as clearly as you hope they would be. So those are good, good tests at home just to make sure that the kid's seeing better. Okay, so we want to look for those signs for sure. Mm -hmm. Also, the kickoff of the year, a great time to get an eye exam and make sure they're set up for success throughout the school year. Correct. Usually we recommend every kid should get an eye exam before kindergarten. So sometime in the first five years of life, you should have your kid's eyes assessed. Mm -hmm. We can even assess kids' eyes when they're not uh, able to talk. So we have special tools and tricks that we're able to see if a kid needs glasses even as young as a year old which seems extreme, but if you have a family yeah. history of eyeglass wear, you should always get your kids' eyes assessed early. My former co-host, co Sean, his young son, uh, got eyeglasses at about, I think, three and a half. Mm -hmm. um, and it was a, you know, a total surprise to them, but they did start to see signs. And what I've noticed is that eyeglasses for kids have really come a long way. Yeah, there's a variety of different frames and sizes, and they fit really well. Mm -hmm. And kids tolerate them really well, especially if they need them. They start realizing, you know, it's not so bad to keep them on because I can see everything so much clearer. Yeah. So it's really not as difficult as a lot of parents expect it to be. I think with him, too, I know that, you know, parents, and I'm sure you sometimes have to, you know, communicate with the kids and explain what's going on, but they made it, they said, you know, super, they found a superhero who, who had glasses. Yeah. So they said, you're going to be like him. So that really kind of worked for him to embrace it. Yeah. Uh, but I think, I'm sure you see a lot of children are just relieved when they realize that they can see fully. Yeah. A lot of kids' behavioral change after they get glasses. Whether it's school-age children oh. who start paying attention better in class, less behavioral outbursts, um, mm. you know, less of a dramatic reactions in classrooms, mm. or even the younger kids, I've seen really small kids with developmental delays start walking more, more confidence and depth perception, interacting with people more, less fear of strangers, just because they can yeah. see better. Oh my gosh, absolutely. Uh, wh when we're talking about exams, let's dive in a little more. Um, there's a difference between a comprehensive eye exam and a vision screening. Mm -hmm. So a vision screening is basically just checking to see is your child able to see well, far away and mm -hmm. up close, and are they moving their eyes? Yeah, in every direction. Mm -hmm. A comprehensive exam really delves deep into is the back of the eye healthy? We do the full dilation with eye drops, which there's a lot of anxiety about eye drops in kids mm -hmm. because it stings for about 10 to 20 seconds, but it's really short lived. Um, after the drops are in the eyes, the pupils get really large, but that provides a really good window for me to see in the eye and look at the health of the retina, the optic nerve. And it's really important for those types of exams as well, because believe it or not, you can diagnose brain tumors, diabetes, wow. really serious health issues that you wouldn't otherwise be able to identify. Yeah, I think that, that is really amazing. I've, I've heard of that happening where people go in for an eye exam and they find something much more serious. So mm -hmm. uh, super important for kids and for all of us adults yep. as well. Exactly. Yes, I know I got the card in the mail reminding me that it's time for my exam. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and seeing you right now is reminding me of that. I need to make that appointment. Um, Nevada Eye Physicians, who are you? Where are you? So we have five different locations throughout the valley. Um, I'm at three of them, one in Centennial Hills, one in the center of town. Um, and one in Henderson area, so kind of all over the place. But um, you can find all of our locations on our website and yeah. um, our numbers on there as well, and, and you can find a location close to home. Awesome. Dr. Warner, it doesn't surprise me you're at three locations because I know you're working constantly. In fact, she left her office hours to come talk to us today, so we'll let you get back to the office. But thank, thank you, you so, so much, much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Keep up with your eye health and the health of your little kiddos. You can reach out to NevadaEyePhysicians.com or you can call the phone number that's right there on your screen.